Hello guys and welcome to another video, this is Lagros Moments and on this video we will talk about how you can very easily expand your Wi-Fi range with this extender here from Tiplink. Let's start! The full name of the extender I have right here is the TP-Link 300 Mbps Universal Wi-Fi Range Extender and the model is the TLWA850RE. So this extender is designed to work with your existing Wi-Fi network and extend the Wi-Fi range even further. So if you have a room or area in your house where you need Wi-Fi but the current signal is weak, then with the Wi-Fi range extender you can boost that wireless signal and expand it into areas where your router normally wouldn't reach. The setup of the extender is easy and flexible and there is actually three ways that you can install it but I'm gonna show you the one that I did with the smartphone because it was the one that actually worked immediately. So first we just plug in our extender to an output. If you have ever connected your extender to a router before, then probably you'll better reset it first by pressing the reset button down here. You need to see the power LED on and also the wireless LED blinking. Then open your smartphone, be connected to your main Wi-Fi network and go to App Store and search for TP-Link Tether. Or you can open the tplinkrepeater.net on your PC and scan the QR code and it will take you straight to download the application from Google Play Store or Apple Store. Once you install it, open the app, agree with terms and policy and click to create tplink ID down here. Click next, put your email and create your password. Accept the policy and terms and condition again and click sign up. Then you will receive an email to activate your TP-Link ID, so check your emails and click in the link that you will find there to activate your account. It will show you that activation succeeded, congratulations, so close that and go back to the app. Click down the button activate it and log in. Let it load and make sure now you connect to the TP-Link device Wi-Fi instead of your router. So go to your Wi-Fi settings and select the TP-Link extender. Go back to the app and select your device. Now you have to log in to the account by using a default username and password. It will be admin for username and admin for password as well. Click login, give it a second and then it will ask you to select the host network that you want to extend. So select your main network, make sure you select the 2.4 GHz. Select it and click next. Enter now the password of your main network to connect to it. And this will be the password that you can connect to the extender as well. Click done, next and next again. And here you can change the extender name if you want. I will put TP-Link extender and apply. Give it some time and then check if the location where you put the extender is good. If not, relocate it about the halfway between your router and the Wi-Fi dead zone. Don't bring your extender to the Wi-Fi dead zone and expect it to work. You gotta put it in the middle within the range of your router. Be careful about that and you can confirm that you have a good signal with the LED here on the extender. The more LED lights you see on the right side of the round LED indicator of the extender, the more signal it has. When you think it's good, just click the button below that says location looks good. And that's it, congratulations, you're all set, click done. Then if you're not connected to the extender, click copy password and go to Wi-Fi settings. Select to connect to the TP-Link extender or whatever name you choose to name it and paste the password. Connect and go back to the app. Click I am connected and that's it. And now you can connect any device that you want to the TP-Link extender with the same password that you use for your main network. From the app you can check how many people and from which devices are connected to the extender and even block them. You can turn on and turn off the wireless signal of the extender and change the name anytime. If you have issue with the signal, you can check the signal with the location assistant. Mine is just right. You can also share the Wi-Fi by creating a QR code for your guest to scan and connect. And you can also enable night mode that turns off the LED light on the extender and you can set it up to turn off automatically during specific period of time and every day. I hope this video helped you, if it did, don't forget to smash the like button as it definitely helps the channel and subscribe for more videos similar like this one and you can check some of my other videos 
somewhere here. I think it's here, yeah? 